All right, man. Welcome back to Make Your Mark MBE channel. It's your boy Mark here again. So in this video right here, I just wanted to go over who I believe should be the reserves for the Western Conference in this upcoming All-Star game. Of course, they announced the starters for each conference. So I'm going to do two videos. In this video, I'm going to cover the Western Conference, and then I'm going to do a separate video on the Eastern Conference as well. So the starters in the Western Conference, of course, are Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Zion Williamson, LeBron James, and Nikola Jokic. And I'm not mad at any of those picks. Now, me personally, when I voted, I voted for John Morant over Steph Curry. All right, I think John Morant is having a season that's right on par with Steph's. And, of course, the Grizzlies are number two in the Western Conference, so I had to give credit to that as well. So that's why I had John Morant as a starter, but since he is not... I have to have him coming off the bench as a reserve without a shadow of a doubt, of course. <laughs> so John Morant definitely is one of my reserves at the guard position. Now, of course, they do it two two backcourt players, three front court players, and then two wild card picks. So John Morant is one of my two front court players, excuse me, two backcourt players coming off the bench for the Western Conference. And of course, this season Jaws averaging twenty seven points. Nearly six rebounds a game and eight assists on 46.5% shooting. And, of course, the Grizzlies are second in the West, as I stated already. So, John Morant's having a great individual season, as he's been doing the last few years. And, of course, he's doing a great job leading his team as well. So, he deserves a lot of credit for that. So, I have him as my first backcourt player. Coming in at my second backcourt player, I would have Damian Lillard. This season, Dame is averaging 30 points. Four rebounds, a little bit over seven assists, and also shooting 46% overall. Now, of course, the Blazers are a bit behind in the standings. They're number 12 in the Western Conference right now. Dame did miss a little bit of time this year. I think he missed about 11 or 12 games. So hopefully they can get back on track and climb up in the standings a little bit. But yes, Dame is having a very good individual season, as usual. The team has room for improvement, but... At the same time, his overall team record is not going to really affect his place, in my mind, in regards to whether or not he should be one of the backcourt players in the All-Star game for the West. All right. So because there's really nobody else you could really go with other than Shea Gilgis Alexander, who I will get to in a moment. But for the first two picks for the backcourt, I decided to go with Dame over him. But it's close. I can see it either way. But I'll talk about him a little later. All right. So going into the front court. Gotta have my man's Larry Marketing. And I made a video about who I believed who I believe should win most improved player this year. And in my opinion, it should be him. Alright. And I explained that in the video why. You guys can check that out. It's on my page as well. But yes, I do believe he should be a reserve for the Western Conference as a front court player. This man is averaging twenty five points this year, eight rebounds, and is shooting fifty two percent. And the Jazz are not a bad team. They're not a great team, but they're not a bad team. They're, they have a 500 record right now. So they have a chance to potentially make the playoffs. Don't sleep on them. And a big reason why is because of how this dude is playing. All right? So Laurie Markkinen definitely should be a front court reserve player for the West, in my opinion. No doubt about it. Okay, so alongside him in the front court, I got to have DeMondis Sabonis for the Sacramento Kings. Not only is he putting up great numbers, averaging 18 and a half points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, and shooting 60% overall, which is incredible. You know, I call him a poor man's Jokic. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of, Jokic, but, you know, not quite on Jokic's level, of course. But very good overall, all-around center in the NBA today, the Montes Sabonis. But I was going to say, not only is he putting up great individual numbers, but the Sacramento Kings are a very good team this year. Don't sleep on them. Of course, I'm not saying I would pick them to come out of the West or nothing, but, you know, they could surprise a couple teams. You never know. You know, right now, currently, they're number three in the Western Conference. All right? I don't think anybody thought this season that they would be that high in the standings. Of course, we still have a ways to go to the end of the season, but I don't see them slipping that much with how DeMontis is playing and also his teammate, De'Aaron Fox. You know, they have a good thing going on over there in Sacramento. So we'll see what happens for them throughout the course of this season. But, yes, DeMontis Sabonis is an all-star this year. There were some people that were saying that he should have been a starter. 
I'm not sure if I would say that for sure, but I can see it, though. I can understand it. But if not that, definitely a reserve. All right, so my third and final front court player is Anthony Davis. Now, of course, we know that he missed some time due to injury, but he's back now. And before he got injured, in my opinion, I believe that he was playing the best basketball of his career. Just me. So, yes, of course, he missed a little bit of time. And the Lakers, we know they've been an up and down team this year. But I do believe that he should be the third front court player with the season that he's having. Okay, this brother right here is averaging almost 27 points per game, a little bit over 58% shooting, 12 rebounds, and also two blocks a game. So he's giving it to you on both ends. And if the Lakers have any chance to get into the playoffs and potentially actually make some noise in the playoffs, it's going to come down to him being healthy or not. That's without question. With Anthony Davis healthy on the court, the Lakers are a problem for any team in the West, in my opinion. But, of course, he has to maintain his health. But we've seen thus far this season when he is healthy, he's as dominant as almost any player in the league. So, yes, he's my third front court player. All right, so now we're doing the wild card picks. So my first wild card pick would be Shea Gilgis Alexander. This brother's having a phenomenal breakout season. He's another player that's a candidate to win most improved player. This season he's averaging 31 points per game. About five rebounds, five and a half assists, while shooting 51% overall, which is incredible. 51%, that's a good number. That that shows that he's a very efficient player, and that's a good thing for his team because you need a player. If your number one player is shooting 51%, that's good. That means more often than not, he's taking good shots and he's not wasting any possessions. So that's a good thing. And look, the Thunder are number 11 in the West right now. But please understand that in the Western Conference, from the fourth seed all the way down to the 13th seed, so from the L.A. Clippers all the way down to the L.A. Lakers, the difference is not that much in regards to the records in the Western Conference. So the Thunder, they're, I think, one game below 500. They're not that far off. So watch out for them as well. You never know what might happen. They can make the playoffs too. All right, so for my next wild card pick and my final overall pick for the Western Conference Reserves, Give me De'Aaron Fox. Now, I know some people might say, well, what about Paul George? What about Anthony Edwards? If you believe those players should make it, then, you know, I can understand that. And, of course, I want people to leave their comments on this video to tell me what they think, whether they agree or not with my picks. I welcome that. So if you think one of those players should be in, that's fine. But me personally, I'm going with De'Aaron Fox. This brother this season is averaging 24 points, four rebounds, and six assists. On 50.5% shooting, another very efficient player. Okay, so he's been a very key piece this year for the Sacramento Kings alongside Sabonis. All right, that tandem of De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis, they are a legit tandem, and they are the biggest reasons why the Kings are number three in the West right now. I'm loving the season that this dude De'Aaron Fox is having, and he's been a player that's, you know, he's been on the cusp a few times, if I'm not mistaken, to be able to possibly make it into the All-Star game, but he didn't make the cut. So I would like to see him make it this year. So anyways, though, that's my opinion on who I believe the Western Conference Reserve should be. You guys leave your comments. Tell me what you think. If you enjoyed the content, please give me a like on the video. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, not only can you give me a like, but you can also hit the subscribe button as well. All right, so this is my video for the Western Conference Reserves. And of course, I'll be coming with another video most likely the following day on the Eastern Conference Reserves. Because to be honest, I'm still vacillating a little bit about the Eastern Conference. I think I have my list already, but there is some, there's a little bit of a debate in my mind for that. But I'll have that video coming up next. But anyways, though, I, I thank you guys again for the support. And once again, all praise be to the Most High.